News at six. Well, the Give From Your Heart Holiday Gift Drive is now accepting donations, and it's all to benefit local organizations. The Promises to Kids is here now to discuss more, and we're talking to George Puga. George, thanks so much for being with us. No, thank you for having us. Of course. Well, let's go ahead and talk about your organization, Promises to Kids, and how you guys are brightening the lives of foster children. So Promises to Kids supports current and former foster youth, um, and currently we're getting ready to start the gift from your heart drive, which is an exciting time for us um, because we want to ensure that all foster kids in San Diego County receive some type of gift. Um, there's been donate, um, places where you can donate um, toys. There's um, You can go on our site to donate uh, money, gift cards, whatever it is. We just want to ensure that all the uh, foster youth in San Diego County receive something for the holidays. And how great of a need are we seeing in San Diego for children that are without a home right now? So there's more than 3,000 um, current foster youth in San Diego County. Um, so we want to, again, ensure that we're supporting all of them at different ages. And so, so there is a definite, definite need, George, and this is all for such an amazing cause as well. Um, so, so you guys are holding that gift drive, and let's let's talk about that drive that is coming up. Um, go into detail about how the, um, people can participate. So, one of our the, the main sponsor is um, Caramel Mountain Preschool. You can always drop off toys there. They're actually having an event on December twelfth. Um, where you can make the grants, um, take pictures, drop off a gift. Um, however, there's also a list of different sites that you can drop off at the bins on our website. And what kind of toys? I know I, I was reading up on some information and, and you're, ex, you're ex, um, accepting new toys that can be bought on Amazon and then and shipped to your address or, or um, wrapped toys. And, Correct. Uh, so, uh -huh. What kind of for, toys for, are you looking for? It just for any ages, um, from two years old to our teens. Um, we do get a lot of toys, um, and we often don't get a lot for our teens. So definitely, there's a big push this year to ensure that our teens also get some type of gift. Um, like you mentioned, um, they can purchase a gift on Amazon and send it. Um, you can send a gift cards as well. To Promises to Kids, again, on our website, you can see all the different um, wish lists that are on there so you can uh, support foster youth this holiday season. That's great. That's great. And I know, you know, teenagers' uh, tastes and toys yeah. or things, that kind of uh, changes all the time. What would be yeah, exactly. a, a good example of a good gift for a teen? I think a great example would be gift cards. Either it be to... Um, Amazon or Target so they can buy their own stuff, our clothing, our um, gift card to the mall so they can just use it on whatever they want. Um, but it's, it's they're into technology, AirPods, things like that. Gift cards are much safer than physical gifts. I I yes, agree. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's good. Well, um, I was also wondering. Um, several of the drives in town, you know, they they are accepting um, nutritious foods, and I'm not sure if that's all part of your drive it would you would you say Ours is mostly a toy drive however we do have um different programs that we can give the food for but i definitely if you have any questions definitely connect with our office um and we can help you support foster you okay that sounds good so so there is a way that if people have excess food um they can they can help help you guys correct out. yeah definitely just call and check in we, we again we serve from zero to I think uh, one of our oldest students that we participate is um, probably 38. So we have a variety of, of students and support available. All right, very good. George, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Well, turning back to our headlines now, the Rady Shell is set to play host to a new Christmas tree.